I don't know how that goal is actually measured and what it means when you say adult literacy. Um, in the case of India, uh, where I come from, I think it is measured by your ability to read and write um, to some very basic minimal levels. Um, for example, uh, you should be able to write your name on a piece of paper. Um, whether you can send a text message or not from a mobile phone is not counted as literacy for some reason. Um, so the goal that has not been met um, is perhaps a, a goal that is no longer as relevant as it used to be. While everyone on the planet is not literate and we thought that they should be, we do have five billion mobile phones on the planet and people who ostensibly are not literate uh, seem to be able to text to each other using a language that they themselves have invented which I think is a great deal better than their being literate. So I'm not very sure of whether we're addressing the right issue. The digital divide was generally considered a problem of some people being able to use digital technology and other people not being able to use digital technology. We know that there are six billion people on the planet and there are five billion phones. So presumably almost everybody has either got access to or actually owns some kind of a digital de uh, device uh, and they are able to use that. So um, I, I don't know if the digital divide as defined in the 19, uh, late 1990s or early 2000s, I don't know if the definition holds any longer. I don't think we need to bother about it. There is no other kind of literacy. There is only one kind and that's digital. I think children need large screens, you know, big screens, um, bigger than a tablet, um, because publicly visible large screens promote literacy and pretty deep education if you have broadband access on it. And I've shown this over and over again for the last 15 years. Uh, the mobile phone doesn't quite do that. So we have a missing gadget there and uh, I hope somebody will invent one. We should not get led astray by the devices which are predominant. I think what we need is access. It is access to the internet which is changing everything. So we must provide a way by which everybody can access. We don't have a goal like that right now. Can we set a goal which says in a year's time, six billion people, everybody has access to broadband? Can we say that children can access broadband without having to pay anybody? That it's free for children. These would be goals that will promote very quick literacy and a very quick form of education, a different form of education from what we define as, but education nevertheless.